What is up everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. In today's video, Mike and I are going to keep you guys updated on some of the crazy things that have been happening around the homestead lately. Hi, we're Mike and Liz. Welcome back to our DIY homestead in the mountains of North Idaho. For the past year and a half, we've been constructing our debt-free 36 by 48 foot shop house. With winter fully settled in and mother nature throwing plenty of curveballs, we have been spending most of our time moving snow and keeping up with the ever-changing elements. All right, guys, so like Liz said, we have had some crazy things going on. We haven't been working on a ton of indoor projects, which is super weird because there's like three or four feet of snow on the ground. That's all we have been working on for like mm -hmm. the last 10 days, it seems like now. Mm -hmm. Two weeks, it is a while. We have so much snow out here in Idaho. As a lot of you guys know, we only have that little snow blower, so that's all we've been doing, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah, and unfortunately, the snow blower broke down yesterday. Oh, uh, we got yes. some really heavy snow last night. We, I mean, it had snowed probably ago. feet in the last couple days, mm -hmm. and then it turned to rain. So oh, we wake my. up, and mm -hmm. it's just like the heaviest snow you could imagine. It's Super rainy, wet. pouring down rain, slushy snow. Mm -hmm. Mike's out there on the snow blower, and it breaks down. And it breaks of down. Course. I mean, it bro broke down a few times mm -hmm. leading up to that, and then finally it like really snapped. I pulled the pull cord out of it and was mm -hmm. just over it. So we still got, you know, that much snow on the driveway. We're not really stuck in here. I was able to get, you know, two or three passes, mm -hmm. um, but the snow blower finally like went kaput, at least for now. Yeah. I actually left it down at the bottom. So hopefully it's still there when we get yeah, down we there. Yeah, we haven't even tried to leave yet, so. We haven't even tried to leave yet, you know, so we have we just been keeping up with the snow. With mm -hmm. that crazy amount of snow we had, I mean, that was so much weight on the oh, roof, yeah. you guys. Like, you should have seen this. There was, I would say, at least two feet of snow on the roof. Mm -hmm. And like Liz was saying, it was pouring down rain yesterday, mm -hmm. so much rain and like oh, yeah. just such heavy snow. And finally, mm -hmm. that oh. roof slid. It oh, was nuts. wow. Yeah, we were all inside and all <laughs> of a sudden it sounded like, like a legit earthquake. The house yeah. was shaking, the it roof was, was shaking. And mm -hmm. so Mike, you flew the drone up there and it was only a little section that had slid. Yeah, there was like, I don't yeah. know, maybe a quarter of the roof slid right in the middle. And yeah, so then. Mm -hmm couple maybe two hours later the roof slid again the entire roof mm -hmm. slid from the snow yeah so that was a little interesting a little eerie the whole house definitely shook yeah. um luckily the chimney stayed intact the I chimney mean, stayed on guys stayed how intact. did that happen how did that like how did that work that was a lot of snow there like, no like, lie I, i'm pretty sure i got a drone video it's just an amazing amount of snow mm -hmm. so Finally, that's clear. Um, yeah, I but now was we getting concerned about that, the yeah, weight. for sure. We were wondering, like, are we going to have to try to somehow get this snow off the roof? Mm -hmm. And as we were talking about it, it slid. Yeah, it slid. So, so solid rumble. We weren't able to get a video during it sliding, unfortunately, yeah. but maybe next time. So. But, but now we have a really, really big pile of snow under the roof, you know, on the side of the house, like you guys have seen in previous videos. Mm -hmm. So here in the next day or so, we're going to have to go borrow my parents' tractor again and get everything cleaned out. Right. And that's a job in itself because now the gooseneck trailer is completely buried. We There's no way. You guys saw us shovel the gooseneck trailer mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. There's at least that amount of snow in there again, if not more. So right. we even getting to the gooseneck trailer, it's like it's impossible right now. Right. So we're hoping to figure out a way to get the tractor here and try to figure that out and dig out the gooseneck trailer and hopefully maybe store it in a easier spot or something. Right. It wasn't very smart of us to park it all the way in the back again. Right, because you know? yeah, now we can't get it out. Now we can't get it and we so. need it again. Yeah, we thought that first pile of snow next to the house was a lot. This <laughs> is so way sure. more. I, it, I couldn't It's an believe unbelievable it. amount. Couldn't believe it at all. Yeah, but it was cool. The house held up. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a pretty decent realization of like that was a ton of weight up there on the roof. Mm -hmm. So it was cool that it came off. It was cool that the house held up. Nothing ever jammed. Nothing seemed to be like sagging ever. None of the doors stuck. None of the windows stuck. Mm -hmm. Everything like it was smooth sailing. So we never really noticed that the weight actually was sitting on there. Um, those may wonder. I believe we have a 70. It's either a 70 or a 75 pound uh, snow load. So that's pound per square foot. Um, so I think we were pretty close to that. Mm -hmm. I think we were probably very, very close to that, if not slightly over. A decent amount of very heavy snow. Very, very heavy snow. It was just the rain that mm -hmm. made it terrible. Right. Um, but it's gone and the chimney's still up there. So that's yeah. perfect. And now we're looking at, you know, mid 30s to low 40s. Oh, so we're for, dealing with the water again. For, yeah, so the water. So that's, you know, 
I guess what you got to keep up with. It's always a learning curve. Mm -hmm. What other little projects have we been working on? Yeah, in the meantime, let's see. I trimmed out the, I mean, the shell, the built-in shelves that we built not too long ago. I trimmed those out with some more of those shiplap boards. So that mm -hmm. looks really nice. It does um, look nice. We put the top on the pony wall. Those cedar, that looks nice. the cedar boards that you guys have seen. You know, we got those all stained up, and it, they look really, really nice. Yeah, it turned out good. I mean, for somebody or a couple people who have never done like finish work, uh -huh. I'm super pleased with how it turned out. You know, it needs just a few little buff out spots, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah we, it looks nice. We have nice. to put just a little bit more trim up on that pony wall, but besides yep. that, it's just about done. I mean, we finally got like the TV hung back up and starting to put things back together again from projects. Yep, yeah, finally coming together and, you know, having a few, like, hours throughout the day for a little mm -hmm. bit of downtime, mm -hmm. you know, we can do stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, you guys got some boards playing, too. Yep, Mike's cousin is in town from mm -hmm. Chicago. That's yeah. Mark. So, so you guys will see him in some upcoming videos. Mm -hmm. Yep, we planed up some boards. We're getting ready to put another wall up. Mm -hmm. yep probably do that today after this so mm -hmm. stay tuned for that mm -hmm. um, we've been doing a lot of snowmobiling with all the snow we have we you know lots of hiking around in the woods it's mm -hmm. just it is absolutely beautiful I'm not complaining by any means oh, about yeah. the snow not oh, yet yeah. <laughs> while the snow was still nice and fluffy we snowshoed up to the top of our mountain yeah that was a lot of fun yeah that was super fun tons of snow I mean just Jed was completely covered in snow <laughs> at one point it was like, pretty funny. yeah and he's yeah it's crazy. So it um, has been fun. Lots of ditch banging. Mark learned how to, learned how to ride snowmobiles. So yeah. <laughs> we'll put that clip in here for you guys. <laughs> Those things can be pretty tricky. Yeah, every those, now and again. it can be fun, but that was fun. So we've just kind of been doing that and trying to just keep up with the weather. It's been crazy, but like Liz said, luckily we have a break coming up. Mm -hmm. Breaking the weather. Breaking the weather. And we'll just not so much be dealing with the snow, but dealing with the water. Dealing with the water, yeah. Yesterday we came in um, to a little bit of water wanting to seep through the block wall. You guys have seen in previous videos that that water does try to seep in there if it makes it to here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we have prevented a lot of the water from getting to here since we first learned about this problem. But now, like we've talked about, you know, we have this much snow in between our drain system. Mm -hmm. um, so that snow is gonna melt and put some water behind the wall. So it'll be, you know, another learning curve trying to keep up with that. For sure. Um, but. It's always something. All we can hope for is it to freeze again and then have a <laughs> slow thaw after Slow that. thaw, yeah. We don't want to go from like below freezing up to like 45 degrees. That would be Which not Which is good. kind of what we're dealing with right now, you know, having three feet of snow on the ground and right. having it start to melt. Yeah, quickly. Not so, fun. so keep keep your fingers crossed mm -hmm. for us. But I guess that's kind of help. a typical North Idaho winter, you know. It is, yeah. You can't have it too good. <laughs> you just never know, you know. But it's fine. It keeps you on your toes. It's fun. Keeps you busy keeps you busy for sure it keeps the list going for content for projects coming up in the summertime exactly you know we have so much outside work that we need to do after realizing like okay once we have a real winter here this is what needs to be done mm -hmm. you know we need a tractor we need to have drains we need yeah, certain we things done we can't go another winter without a tractor no that's a goal for the summer we need to have a tractor we need to uh, definitely have a tractor i'd love to have like a snowblower attachment for the back at the very minimum um and you were talking about a backhoe attachment too yeah, which I would mean, be best very case nice scenario. best case scenario but we need just a tractor to at least move this snow away from the building mm -hmm. you know and then it, even if we don't have a snowblower attachment we can still just plow with the bucket all right so that's on the list. Yeah, Kmart, what, 1999 Kmart snowblower, finally. She's done. Can't quite keep up with Can't the quite keep up. amounts of snow. We've had, I mean, there's three feet of snow on the ground, mm -hmm. so it worked for now. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe we can get it fixed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, sure. we appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys, you know, keeping tuned in, and um, we're yeah. trying to keep you up to speed. If Got you have a lot any of snow. questions, let us know. I mean, there's still lots of things on the list for us to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, moisture issue, issues included. So mm -hmm. we're trying to take care of it all. Yeah. Everything all at once. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.